Welcome back to Creature Files. On this episode, we'll discover the strange tale of Ambulocetus, an ancient mammal ancestor of modern whales. Ambulocetus lived during the Eprezian age of the Eocene epoch, approximately 49 million years ago in what is now Pakistan. The name Ambulocetus actually means walking whale, and as its name suggests, this creature is in fact an early cetacean, the family including whales and dolphins. Ambulocetus was a sizable creature, although comparatively small compared to its later whale descendants, measuring around 3 meters in length and weighing in at around 720 kilograms. This remarkable animal represents a transitional species giving paleontologists a more comprehensive understanding of the early evolution of whales and how they transition from small land-dwelling mammals to the great ocean giants of today. This strange beast had the appearance of a furry crocodile or giant otter, however it was determined that Ambulocetus would not have been overly agile in the water, instead relying on ambush to catch its prey. This was a carnivorous animal that would have preyed on large fish, other aquatic animals, and perhaps even terrestrial animals that got too close to the water's edge. It most likely killed its prey by gripping it in its jaws and either drowning it or thrashing it with violent motions. Ambulocetus had many adaptations which would have aided its aquatic lifestyle, spending very little time out of the water. It had a special structure in its nose allowing it to swallow food underwater. This structure would eventually give rise to the blowholes of modern whales and dolphins. It had no external ears, but it was also able to hear well underwater due to a complex inner ear structure, but this adaptation meant that it was unable to hear on dry land and would have had to rely on a different strategy for hunting out of the water. It likely could lay its throat on the ground and detect nearby vibrations similar to the method employed by modern crocodiles and snakes. It also had teeth that closely resemble those of other cetaceans like Basilosaurus, a later predatory whale descendant of Ambulocetus. Further analysis of the teeth of this ancient whale have revealed that Ambulocetus was exposed to both salt and fresh water, leading scientists to believe that it would have patrolled estuaries exploiting both coastal and inland environments, searching for food. Ambulocetus swam by undulating its back vertically and had short limbs with wide webbed feet that it used to propel itself through the water. On land it was cumbersome and slow, likely only coming ashore to rest or move between bodies of water. But in the water, it was a deadly killer, most likely being the top predator in their ecosystem. Nothing could stop them. The lineage of Ambulocetus lives on to this day. While Ambulocetus itself may be gone, their descendants not only still exist, but thrive. The story of whales and cetaceans as a whole can trace their ancestry all the way back to this strange, hairy mammal that lived during the Eocene. This is one of evolution's greatest success stories, the story of the whales. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Also, find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash creaturefiles. See you next time on Creature Files.